Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play I the Somnium Files. Last time, we entered Mizuki's mind, and now she's able to talk again. Like, we, we were able to help her overcome her fears. Well, not really overcome her fears, but offered her some comfort in these trying times, and now she's... She's ready to talk. But first, I'm exploring stuff. Oh yeah, and also, file. Because we got stuff to read, yo! Like about Pewter. It's 36. That's his name. LW, Engineer at Abyss, the secret organization special investigation team. Wow. Metro, met, oh my god. Metropolitan Police Department. Likes multiples of 16. Chairs. Uh, Toko Roden. And Amore. Dislikes bugs, cats, how dare you. Conservatives and Cyclops. Cy Cyclopes. Cy Cyclopes. Cy Cy Cyclops. It's not how you spell Cyclops, so that would be Cyclopes. Whatever those are. Hobbies, working with machines, collecting dojins. Oh, those were your boy love dojins. I thought those were the bosses. Alright, I'm judging he likes what he likes. And he also likes magical... Well, his hobby is magical girls. Crossplay, maybe? Hmm. Skills include building models and imitating Vuvuzel. <laughs> Pewter is a business engineer and a brilliant scientist. Currently, he is responsible for maintaining the sink machine, repairing sinks. He also invented Iba and set her personality to his liking. I see. Oh my god, BL. Uh, why is that third on the list? Uh, Boys Love, a depiction of love and eroticism between men. Although it sounds vulgar, it is often a display of pure, sublime love, and there are many worthwhile works of art in the genre. Don't be so close-minded. Sinker. The agent that performs the sink. How about that? Doujinshi. Or Daojinshi. I don't think I've ever heard a Japanese person pronounce it, so I think I only ever pronounce it Doujin. And that's how I've heard other people refer to it. Huh. I need to look that up, actually. Fan-made books and comics that celebrate a particular franchise. Usually erotic in nature. No. No. Do not feed into the stigma, I, the Somnium Files. I don't have any, but I need to do some research, so please send some. Oh, uh, that just, like... Oh. I was about to say Dojin means, like, independent works, but... Yeah, I mean, like, that usually means, like, an independent work of any kind. Dojin Shi. Yeah, fair enough. That Those are, like, fan-made books and comics. But, you know, because you can have, like, Dojin games, which are just independently made games. Like, the Toho games would be considered Dojin works. Um, uh, Bunny Must Die. Hakaniwa Explorers, etc. I'm just naming, like, ones that I've played. Um, you have Dojin movies, just independently made movies. Some can be sexual in nature, yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, the Dojin Shi books and comics, they are correct. I'm up here fact checking this Japanese developed game. I'm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a Mara Splaining. I need to stop. Alright, what else we got? Uh, Somnium. Dream in Latin, the plural is somnia, and attached to the prefix in, meaning non or without, results in insomnia, which means you can't sleep. But then with insomnia, that means like to not dream? Huh. Type, or type, oh my lord. Time insomnium. Peter added a new feature to the sync machine that allows you to slow down time but it only works when Iba is standing still. Why? Simply put, it was a limitation of the technology. When Iba is standing still, she and Date are exchanging information at extremely fast speeds, which creates the sensation of time slowing down. But when Iba is moving, it is not possible for her to exchange information as quickly. 
because she has to use resources to move and interact with the environment. Imagine a giant boulder on top of a hill. If you hold it with both arms, it will stay put. If you only use one of your arms, the boulder will start to roll. Mayuchi Spike? Because eels are slimy and difficult to handle, this tool is used to pin an eel to the cutting board by penetrating the area near the head. Similar to an ice pick, or owl. 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 A-W-L. I... Owl? Owl? All? Never knew how to pronounce that. Ooh, that's tiny. Um... Somnium 3 time limits. Tips. Time limit. Insomnia, you have a time limit of 6 minutes. Time goes down by moving in by ordering Iba to perform an action. Mind the time and unlock all mental locks within 360 seconds. Uh, timey. A timey is an item that affects the flow of time. You can obtain them after certain choices you make. Timeys can potentially lower the time it takes to perform an action. You are only able to hold three timeys, picking up a timey when you already hold three or replace one. Timeys disappear after use, but try to use them actively. That way you're not actively wasting them. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, going past 360 seconds, you can technically exceed the time limit if you are making the final correct choice for the final mental lock, even if time is winding down. If you make wise choices, you may still be able to clear the Somnium. Oh, day two. Mizuki. Oh my god. Amazing. Concept art. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How would that even work? Okay. We've examined these before. This? Oh, what's inside this? Sometimes a cleaning lady is hiding inside. That's disturbing. It really is. Also, is that a reference to something? Yeah, those are all the same. Hey, boss, how's it going, boss? There was something that was green. Yeah, there we go. Okay. How's it going, boss? Do, do I want to talk to boss? Hmm. Thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? Shit. We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Alright. Alright. You, you ain't gotta use the title, you know? Um. About Mizuki's muteness. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well. You, meaning you and I, though. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Okay, uh, do you have any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... Oh. It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. I mean, shock makes you do crazy things. Not what I saw in Somnium, no by the way. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. Oh. Oh, so, so, so you saw the bullshit, too, of, of me punching and talking to a horse. Okay, then. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. 
Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Okay. Yeah, I can tell that monitor is off. Hey, Look at the chair. Can I pop this cherry? Date, please. Date, you sounded quite proud of that pun. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it? <laughs> no, thanks. It's not the same as the first time. Everybody's just disgusted in him. <laughs> My god, he's so bad. Um... A binder. It's the sink manual. I want to hit table. Dante over the head with that. <laughs> what? Where did that come from? After that pun. Deservedly so. CRT Dante, monitor. Look, it's a brown tube. Brown tube. Braun. What? Ferdinand Braun. Who? Inventor of the cathode ray tube. Oh. I can't get my head around that one. Some people are obsessed with these. They're called melee fans. I will never miss a chance to dunk on them. Some indigenous jewelry from New Guinea. I think this is called a Koteca. Okay, so you got boy love manga and jewelry in there. Go on, pewter. Go on, I see you over there. It's your bad self about Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Unless it's a lucid dream. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Okay. Uh, how does Ibel appear in Somnium? Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced. But only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into Somnium. So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> Don't call me dumb. Okay, about Iba's appearance. Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What well, part of that was my taste? <laughs> I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Wow, that is dangerous. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. <laughs> it was just a little something. <laughs> I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? Okay, uh, about that figure I saw. 
No, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samian couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Date? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Okay, and who do you think the suspect is? Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. One moment. Back. I can just mute all that. Have a weird jump cut in there. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. Uh, I'm sorry. What? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Who kids like that? Okay. Um. Well, let's talk to you now. Um, do, 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 do. How you doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. <laughs> Dang, okay. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. <laughs> oh, wow. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. Dang. Okay. Um. Are 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 you hungry? Eat a Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hungry. I know. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Unagi, my guy. Yeah. There we go. You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Infonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. All right, now let's get down to business. Um, uh, about that figure I saw. Say, Mizuki, who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. Oh! You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Would have been nice to have known that up front. Alright, well then who sent you the Nile message? I... I can't tell you. Why not? 
Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Oh, well that answers that then. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. Oh. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Okay. I, I guess ask this again? Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Hmm. Luke is lying in the chair. She seems to be doing okay, but she's got that gloomy look in her eyes. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. And that's not really lying in the chair, that's sitting. You had a question for her. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? Gruesome. Pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Um, okay, well, summarize for me. <laughs> anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Alright then. Let's go to Bloom Park. Saturday, 8.13 p.m. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Hmm. Was it this bench? No. Okay. That seems like it's going to be important. Like, past the bush. Looks like a sad overturned insect. Uh, do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. 
What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom... <laughs> What's wrong? I mean, she's only thinking about the death of her mom. Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. To the bush or maybe behind it? Alright, well. Accidentally Iba, exhausted all those here. dialogues. This leads to the subway. The subway? Hmm. It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. All right, so examine it again. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No, the track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad crossing. Railroad crossing? Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Huh. Renju Okiura. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park i can't prove it was renju there's a chance someone else was driving the car yeah yeah but in any case i know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks that explains why there were no cars parked near the scene using that subway station it could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. Hmm. I guess I can examine the same car stuff again. Dashboard. Center console. Okay. Okay, it's not really giving me anything. Fine, guess I'll talk to Mizuki. Um. When was the last time you saw your dad? I think about a week ago. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. 
Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. Hmm. About the Nile message. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. Got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 805 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Oh. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Hmm. About the suspicious figure. Hey Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... I don't know. You look like you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Aww. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. Wow, you've known him for five years. Wow, you you really know everything there is to know about him, Date. He's like family to me. After five years? I mean, yeah, you can get close to somebody after five years, but like family? I never want to put cuffs on him. I never want Mizuki to see that. Anyway, Renju just isn't that kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. I would hope not, but he is acting weird. Uh, about the now message again? But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. Yeah. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. For the last time, what was the last I time you spoke to him? It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Ima. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Oh, I guess I talked to the boss. Oh boy. Things ain't looking good. Things ain't looking good. Any idea where Renju is? No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renju's house. I had local cops search the place. I didn't find anything. Where could he be? 
Why did you release him? So Renji was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. About Renju's questioning. He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. Okay, the alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. But that means no one can back up his story. Okay. I have a cell phone, never cared for it, but Iba can connect to any network in range. So I'm able to communicate with HQ. Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. Um. Hang up the phone, I guess. Alright, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. <laughs> I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast, in Akihabara. Guess we're taking a detour to go there. Sunfish Pocket, Saturday, 10.20 p.m. Oh, cutscene. A murder. Well, because that was the prime suspect, and now he dead. Day three, Sunday. See you, goodbye. Um, police headquarters, Sunday, nine seventeen a.m. Where do we go from here? We ain't got no leads, yo! Cause he was the one that sent the text, but now he's dead. And he ain't did that himself. Also, yeah, she just... You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? Like, over the course of, like, two days, she saw her mom's dead body and then her dad's dead body. Yikes, she gonna need some therapy. My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Well, we're going to continue on with this next time. Yikes. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time for some more Let's Play Eye of the Somnium Files. Goodbye. Goodbye.